Hello everybody. You're looking at the south. Over those mountains is Mexico. And that's alright. Cactus get thicker the farther back you go. It's kind of cool. Anyway, how you doing? If you get focusing in on you, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, how you doing? Having a good day, feeling good. Everything's nothing's aching too bad. But I wanted to do this video, and I meant to do it before I even wrote it down. I want to talk about the third eye, and this is a really great indication of whether you're about to go into the dark night, you've been going through it, or you're, you know, you're at the end of it. But your third eye is on fire. That's what, I mean, I can only talk about experience, but it, and it was doing that for years, but I didn't even understand what the hell that was. This was before I even knew about tarot and spirituality, a lot of it anyways. I was just ignorant to it. I, I've heard about the third eye, and I thought that was just, you know, the Hindi religion and the dot and all that, and I just, I respected it, but I didn't really d dive into the spirituality of it, right? So I did not understand it. <clears throat> and then it started happening to me, and I just thought it was an irritant, honestly. It was like right here on my forehead, right above my eyes. It was just, it would get really, it, was, it felt like psoriasis or something, like like a rash. Or really, it, it's, I hate to say, make it sound like that. But yeah, it would just literally, like, like a tingling. Like, you know how when your your hand goes, arm goes numb when you sleep on it or something? And then right before it starts hurting, when it starts getting that tingling sensation? That's what it does. It feels like that in my third eye. My forehead let's just say for it because i'm no doctor i don't understand it. i'm still working on that always the student never the master right although ever the universe i'm always saying it's it's kind of like in it's kind of like a honorary title and i also say that i'm you know i haven't been anointed yet i'm still in the process of the application so going through the the 90-day trial so to speak from the universe and god so i'm but that's just, and the trick of that is for me to love everything, even these freaking flies. Oh my God! And they, it's like they know it. I swear the flies know I'm, I'm, I can't harm them, so they just mess with me. It's like that's what their job is. They must have been, God must have brought them down for surveillance and nu a nuisance. That's it. I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna say about flies. But, and I don't hurt anything. I try to even step on ants. That's kind of the point. You got everything's within your scope of love. But I digress. Let's talk about the third eye and your third eye. Anyway, the effects that I've had from it um, were interesting. Of course, it's it's part of the dark night. It's part of the your spiritual awakening. And for me, it's been very bizarre, and it still is. And I know I'm getting downloads when my third eye starts tingling, or when I'm talking to myself. I'm just speaking out loud. I know I'm on to some kind of truth, or the universe is like, you know, doing it here, smack on the back of the head, like I, you know, like a, that's what I was trying to tell you the whole time, kind of thing, right? But anyway, so. I just want you to know that the third eye is an interesting indicator of your spiritual growth. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm still learning. I'm no expert. I just know that mine has been on fire for years. And especially the last year, the last two years, just really, really strong. I mean, to where I would literally get an irritant. It looked like a rash right here on my forehead. It's really bizarre. But anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about that. So, yeah, third eye is amazing. It helps you with your growth. Like I said, this is, it's all like this big, it's almost like spokes of a wheel. That's one way I could look at it. Because you have inner childhood traumas that you try to heal, ancestral curses. You've got all this spiritual growth you're working on. You, you know, we're all running around these meat sacks just trying to make it all, figure it out and make it all right, right? So that's basically, we're still in the middle of this. It's not over yet, right? So we're still figuring things out and, whew, it gets exhausting. Anyway. So don't be afraid of the third eye thing. It's really cool. That's like I said, it's a good indicator that you're on the right path, that you're working it out, and the God in the universe is trying to get and give you those downloads, get you into, you know, trusting your intuition. And that's another big part of it. The third eye and intuition are kind of linked. So like spokes with the wheel. Anyway. So just like love and compassion and generosity, spokes with the wheel. Anyway. Whatever wheel that is. The wheel of time, the wheel of us. <clears throat> anyway, that, that the Wheel of Time series coming out, the new thing on Netflix. I read those books before. They're awesome. The 
it's a really good series. Got a little long-winded after like book six or seven, so I kind of dropped out. But it's a really good series. Anyway, there's another one I've talked about. I, I'm just like left field with this book thing. But anyway, there's another. They're, they're going to use it eventually. They're going to find it. And it's called The uh, Magician's Apprentice and Magician Master. It's a really good series by Raymond Faust or Feist or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Your third eye is opening. Go with it. Live in love and light. Keep the high ground. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is just really digging you. So have a wonderful day. And there's just a little bit more dust in our desert. Break off a little something, something. Love you. Goodbye. Okay,